Peter, I love you, but you are absolutely crazy if you think that Danny Welbeck is a better player than Mario Balotelli. Just face it, Danny Welbeck is an average player. He has no big weapons, he can't dribble, he can't beat a man. Balotelli has every major attribute in his locker. He's fast, he's skillful, he's got strength, he's both footed, he's got a rocket of his shot, great at free kicks. To compare the two is just madness. What's beyond dispute is that Mario Balotelli is a fantastic footballer and he has awesome potential. However, for me, he has some progress as a footballer in five years. He's still immature, he's still a liability in terms of his discipline and he still hasn't marked himself out as a major player for any club that he's been at nor for his country. I'd agree that Balotelli is playing only 50% of his potential and I agree that he has some mental issues both on the pitch and off the pitch but even playing at 50% of his potential he still achieved far more and he's still a far better player than, than Welbeck is. I mean just look at trophies. Balotelli has won four major league titles, the Champions League, he's made a, had a major impact on Serie A, on the Premier League, he scored 17 goals in 32 games last season for City, he was one of the stars of Euro 2012. Tell me what has Welbeck done? Danny Welbeck came into the Manchester United team and he's got world-class strikers for competition. He's had Berbatov, Wayne Rooney, Chicharito. This season he's had Robin Van Persie added to the mix. And he still managed to get into the team and he still managed to make an impact. He scored one goal this season. Oh, yeah, and Mario Balotelli has scored three and one of those is a penalty kick. Which brings me on to my next point is Balotelli's record is padded out by penalties. You keep referring to his goal scoring record but he scored eight penalties out of 30 goals for Manchester City. You talk about his trophies. Just because he's wearing the medals around his neck doesn't mean he played any significant part in those successes. He is perceived as a 20 million pound footballer. But Roberto Mancini left him out of the, the run-in last season because he was a liability after getting sent off against will you, Arsenal. Will you ever see this is a player who's suspended for eight games last season. Do you think that's somebody who's responsible, somebody who's mature, somebody who's going to kick on and become he's a world got, beater? He's got some disciplinary problems, but so many great players have done. Maradona did, Zidane got sent off how many times in his career? The point is that Balotelli has got world-class talent. You saw it at the Euros, what he did to Germany, single-handedly destroyed them. Welbeck will never, ever be able to do that. Not now, never in his career. He, he hasn't got the potential to become anywhere close to, to what Balotelli is now, let alone what Balotelli can become. What Balotelli has done in terms of uh, the player he's met himself at a young age is not in dispute. Balotelli's a fantastic player, but he's very, very lucky that he's a manager who'll indulge him like Roberto Mancini. This is a guy who Jose Mourinho said was unmanageable one of the greatest man managers of all time. And if he can't get football out of him, what chance has another manager got once Mancini leaves Manchester City? Balotelli is going to hit a downward spiral once Mancini leaves Man City because nobody else is going to put that arm around his shoulder and indulge him. And where will Welbeck be in a few years? I, I would predict right now that in three years' time, Welbeck will have left Manchester United. He can barely get in the team now. And I can see him at a club like Sunderland, a mid-table team at most. And the only reason he's playing for England, frankly, is because England have no decent strikers at the moment. The record, stripping away penalty kicks, goal scoring wise, is very, very similar. Okay, maybe Balotelli's a few more goals, but he started his career, his professional career one season earlier than Welbeck. And I can confidently predict that they'll go on to have careers of similar success. But I think Welbeck, due to his work ethic and due to his attitude, I think will have the better career.